What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about Clutch Shooter Badge. We'll talk about the activation, some recommendation and at the end I'll give my opinion if it's overrated or underrated badge. So after watching the video, please let me know in the comment section what do you think about the badge. So for the definition, shot attempts that occur during the final moments of the fourth quarter or any overtime periods receive a large boost. So for regular games like Rec or Pro-Am, it's going to be the last 2 minutes of the 4th quarter and the whole overtime period. But the big question about the badge is what about part games? So basically, there are two conditions that need to be met. First one, the score must be at least 15 and 8 before the shot. Doesn't matter which side you are on. So meaning 14 and 8 or 15 and 7 won't activate the badge. Actually, it was already like this even back in 2K20 and 2K21, made videos about it as well and I checked it on my 2K22 clips, and yes, it is still the same. Now for the second condition, the maximum margin between two teams is 8. As you can see here, it was 21 and 9, that's more than 15 and 8, right? But since the margin was more than 8, badge didn't activate. 816, which has 8 point margin worked, but it didn't work on 19 and 10, which has 9 point margin. It makes sense, to be honest, <laughs> if the gap is more than 8 on a game of 21, your shot won't feel like clutch if it's a landslide, right? So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking so far and don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of videos, especially if you're making a new build. Trust me, you'll find something helpful in there. And of course, subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. So now going back for the recommendation, it is really hard to make a solid recommendation without the stats. I'll just put it in the pinned comment section if ever I've done it. But for a rough recommendation, Knowing that it will activate on a 15 to 8 score for the most part, which roughly like 40% of the game remaining, I think it deserves at least bronze or silver. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but based on my 3 years of experience testing shooting badges, if a badge is kinda picky with activation like this one, unlike Corner Specialist, Volume Shooter or Hot Zone Hunter that can work all game, the boost will be bigger than usual. That's why I think it's a good badge. It deserves at least bronze or silver, but that's for Park though. I think you need to be more cautious if you want to equip the badge if you play Rec or Pro-Am only. And now for the last question, is it overrated or underrated? I think it's underrated, I think lots of people have the impression that it only activates on the last shot or something, that's why people ignore it, but they don't realize that as I said earlier, it can activate with roughly 40% of the game left. That's still long. As you can see here, it was 16 and 10, we were behind by 6, and I was able to activate it 3 times. Could have been 4 times if this game winner here was a jump shot. So it really has a big window of activation, so it's really handy to have it. I've been rocking this badge since 2k20, I was able to hit lots of decent game winners with this one, including these 100% smothered shot, so it's really a good badge. So again, let me know in the comment section what do you think about the badge, or any other experience with this badge. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.